What's up guys, it's Mr. Ginger Cool. Today I'll be bringing you a tutorial on advanced lightning in After Effects CS5. I haven't been bringing out any videos lately, but I'm planning on to doing it a lot more now and making it my daily thing. So here's the preview. I've come down from the sky. This is a little film I'm making at the moment. We've got the electricity, a bit of lens, flare, optical flare, and when she hits the wall. So that's the preview. And then we're going to bring the footage into a new composition. And then bring it to the point in which you want the lightning to appear. So it's there. And then you want to bring a layer, new solid, black, make it comp size. That's probably the best thing to do. And then you're going to go to generate. No, effects generated on light, advanced lightning. If you can't find it in there, it's t second from the top. Go to effects and presets and type in advanced lightning should come up and drag it onto the black solid as you can see it comes up it's not the greatest looking lightning for the hand thing though so you're going to change the lightning type to strike as you can see there looks pretty good well, it's, well we're getting there change the conductivity state to around i'm guessing about 70.8 then you're going to go core settings, keep it like that, it's pretty decent. Glow radius. Okay, this is the bit. You want to change the blue to 002349. I don't do that in at this point, but I do it later on, in which I see it change. So it's not looking great at the moment, but it gets better. Believe me, it does. Now you're going to go to core radius, I'm going to say make that around 82, yeah that's about it. And the core, part, the, the core opacity is still good, so we'll keep that. So that's the electricity that we're going to be using to create the finger lightning. So now you're going to want to bring it to the, your finger. And um, I would say put it to the thumb and then to each finger. You want to keyframe the origin and the direction, just click the stopwatch. And now you're just going to go through maybe each two frames and link up to the thumb and the index finger. And you would do this for each finger and, and with the thumb. So there we go. Yeah, this is the first video I've put up in a while now. It's pu purely because I haven't had any video ideas. I really want to help people on YouTube with After Effects. I'm also bringing out some short films. I'm bringing out some more Lego stop motion, which is a lot better than the other one I put up. It's just called Mine's Bigger. It's a lot more smooth or well made. Um, the first one I'm going to bring out for the Lego stop motion is probably going to be the Mortal Kombat Iron Man vs. Captain America. That'll be coming out maybe the week after this is uploaded to YouTube. I've also got a, this short film that you saw at the start, which is with me and my sister. And my green screen's coming on like Wednesday, so we'll be able to put some more effects into the fighting scenes. So it's going to be really good when it's done. Um, to be posted in, up on all the videos I do, please go to my page. It'll be a real, I'll be so thankful for it and click that subscribe button. That subscribe button will basically um, show you the videos that I bring out, when they come out, um, with the description. It's, I'm hoping that they're going to be quite good when they come out, you know. So please, it'd be, it'd be so good. I'd be so thankful for you doing so. Please click that subscribe button. Um, I'm making probably a part two of this where the lightning hits the wall. And um, for that, I'm going to aim for around... If this video gets 20 likes, I would be willing to do a part 2, or maybe a part 3 if this is too long. I'd be really willing to do it and um, to help you guys. So just like this video 20 times, well, each person. And maybe, well possibly, I will be bringing out of that part 2 where it hits the wall. It's got some cool optical flares in there, dust impacts, sparks, and I'd be really willing to help you with that. So... This is the lightning for the first index finger nearly done. And now you're going to have to go through each finger with the thumb and do this. 
and it's gonna probably be finished in a second. Here we go, that's that bit done. As you can see, it kind of follows through with the screen, and you want to bring it down and probably bring the center of each direction and origin together so you don't see it that much. It won't appear at the end though when you're finished for some reason, which will be good. That's it. And then you see it appear with fingers. And you're probably wondering, going to cut the advanced lightning to the point where you basically want the glow to appear as well. It's probably the best thing to do. So I'm going to say cut it around there, as I said. Yeah, I'll also be bringing out some Lego stop motion competitions and also film competitions and um, they'll be involved in maybe the next couple of months if we're really willing to do that and of course there'll, there'll be prizes at the end of the competition so there we go we split it to the bit where we preferably want it comes down about there so there we go that's, that's what it looks like so far And now, when it comes to expert settings, make the complexity, I would say, keep that around zero. Bring the minimum fork distance up to 103. And now you're typing glow in the effects and presets. Bring that down, drag onto the, the black solid so we can give it a bit more of a glow. Here we go. I would say glow threshold probably be about three, no, 32.9 and the glow radius I'm gonna say about 25 keep the glow intensity at 1 keep the compos composite composite on original behind sorry about that my stutter there I'm gonna change the glow operation to screen and Keep it on behind. I'm just wondering whether what to do at the moment. So that's that bit done. And now you want to change each of these black solids that you have made with the lightning, and you want to change the um, mode to additive, so you give it a bit of light and give it a bit of blue flare, as you can see here. So it looks pretty decent at the moment. Now I want to um, probably find some firecrackers. You can film this at your house on a black background, or you can go to Video Copilot and download their Action Essentials too. You can buy it; it has a good price, and they have some fantastic stock footage that you can use for your films. I drag on the firecracker. I bring in nine and three if you have Action Essentials. If not, you, there's some really good substitutes on YouTube and you can actually find action essential stock footage on YouTube if you look hard enough. I might leave a link in down below. Okay, so you're going to bring your firecracker with the back, background and bring it to screen mode. Bring it down, scale it around the, the probably around the finger width. And now you're going to bring the tint and the effects and presets probably make it like a light bluish and now we're going to bring the amount of tint down to around 82 so we still have that bit of a flare that bit of um spark flare instead of all being blue okay now i'm going to scale it position in the place you want it and now i want to bring in a couple more firecrackers in different positions and different in and at different times so we get the sort of um, little crackly effect, like the lightning is giving off something. Um, so just copy the tint maybe onto the next one, and scale it down again to the fit the amount that you want it, position it on the place you want it, and then just duplicate duplicate each layer and place it in different time zones.
Hopefully there's another one in. So I'm going to bring this down to half re the resolution so all the colours aren't perfect but it's faster to render and show you guys what it looks like. So it's just rendering at the moment. And the yellow bar shows you each frame I think it does. So there you go. Okay, so there, there is, there's some of it. Anyway. So it's looking pretty decent at the moment. Yeah, it's looking really good. So let's duplicate the other layer. Rotate it a bit more. Like so. Position it again. Here we go. That, that's the basis of it. With the lightning 